Welcome back to Final Fantasy VI, your boy Juggle972, and I'm here with Misunderstood. I done! And we have landed in the southern continent. Now, what we're going to need to do is going to shop up a little bit, get prepped. As you can tell, all the towns, including Miranda, Zen, and Albrook, they're swarming with the Empire. The Empire's presence is very, very, very strong here. So, you want to be on everybody's good side. I like that. I like the background. Oh, thank you. I, I did it while we uh, were in the middle of a uh, little break here. Well, that's a disappointment. That is. I bet you anything. Oh, this place has been war-torn. See all those holes in those fucking buildings? Oh, yeah. Texture. Okay, already got that. Okay, we're gonna need to sell some shit real quick because there's a lot of good stuff here. Okay. Now we head to Vector. This is Albert, the occupied city of, of no shit. Alrighty. Let's see what other works we can work, work with. Now all we need is Saban in our party though, because I got the feeling we're gonna need him. We're gonna need Saban for this one. Yes! We are going to need him. Oh, customers need refreshments? Oh! Wow. Oh, nice! I completely forgot about that. Very nice. Oh, what, what'd you know? It. There's their own shop as well too. I don't think there's any chocobo stables here. But yeah, we gotta go north. Yeah, so we gotta go find Vector, the capital. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Let's get us well healed real quick. Gonna pitch a tent real quick. Just. <sighs> okay, but we'll save real quick. Yes, let's save. Vector, the capital. We're talking about a bleak ass city. Ugly brute. Make. Better make tracks. Excuse me? Yeah, excuse you, prick. <laughs> General sales turned traitor. Why? The other side's sure to lose. You obviously don't know the story. You obviously don't know what we're capable of. Yeah. Yeah, now, every weapon shop here is just as... Well, I'm not going to say just as good. You know what? I'm going to buy another it, uh, Epi. That's what we're going to call it. As it's called. I'm going to equip her. Okay. Made a little bit of cheddar there, but let's see what's all around here. Pledge your allegiance to the Empire? You know what? No. no. What? Oh. Wait, hang on a second. Really? Two guards, huh? Really? You, let, let's That's... make quick. Let's make quick work of them real quick. Let's just make really quick work. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Go shoot 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 Right. I'm sure you can do it. Young people, hang in there. Thank you, lady. So it was a test. Oh yeah, by the way, don't stay in this inn, by the way. They'll say it's free, but they'll steal a thousand GP from you. Gold pieces from you. Shh, I'm a return of sympathizer. I've heard of you. Whoa, what's that? While I distract the soldiers, climb under the steel tower from this box and enter the facility. All set? Yes, we are. Yeah. <coughs> uh, 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 uh. Um. <coughs> I've got to be sick. Get out of here. Now's our chance. Whoop. Onto the steel tower we go. Uh. Gonna toss it. Oh. Alrighty, run, 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 crap, 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 running, 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 running. Yeah. Here we are, the Magitech Factory. Probably one of my favorite places to be at in this game. Got damn good music too. It literally uses metal. Yes. You know, it's funny, um, in, in the Outlast series, 
they actually used metal objects to create their music. Yep, yes they did. The, mu the, the composer was even scared making the music. Well, I mean, you gotta create, you know, an in uh, intimidating atmosphere for it, though. You really do. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Outlast, uh, I've, we've uh, just finished Outlast 2, you know, a couple of weeks ago. I, that's a fucked up game. Uh, I thought the first one was messed up. And, you know, I've, me personally, I've actually finished Resident Evil as well. Oh, man, that game. Th those those games are just fucked up, but I love them. Yeah, and uh, Outlast, yeah, the first game I thought was bad enough. Even the, I thought the DLC was bad enough. Yeah, definitely. But no, this game, the second game was probably... Alright, here we go. Yeah, Outlast in general is fucked up. Ooh, the Flame Saber. What now, I game? think there is a rumor that there's going to be DLC for Outlast 2 as well. God, I hope so. I loved it, though, but I got to tell you right now, it's... It left me. It left me with a lot of you know unanswered questions. Like I think it left everybody with unanswered questions too. Because I, I got to tell you, as much as great as it was, though, there were so many plot holes. Yeah, Don't want to spoil it though, but there's a lot of plot holes in uh, Outlast, too. Yes, there was. I, I even had questions. I'm like, what the fuck happened there? I mean, I I played through it you know enough times to say, okay, oh what's that? There's a chest down there too. War? Chest board? No, a chest. Oh. But yeah, I'm really hoping that there's a DLC for it, though, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be. I yeah. really do think so. Yeah, it... Like I said, it... It left a lot of, uh... Oh, motherfuck. Oh, no. Well, I mean, there's a chest here, too. X-Potion. Oh, nice. Full HP. But yeah, I, it, it, it... There was a lot of questions that need, that need to be answered. Speaking of, D, speaking of DLC... Uh, there's gonna be DLC for Tekken 7. Yes, we already know about that. I'm actually really excited for it, though. By the way, Tekken 7, great game. Story mode, convolutedly hard. Oh, sometimes just rage emitting. Yeah, very difficult sometimes, you know. Yeah. There we go. But I still loved it. Now, there are DLC characters. Now, I kept hearing rumors about the DLC character that they're gonna be including um, fighters from other series. Yeah, from what I've heard. And will not be including any of the Tekken characters from the past. What's up with that anyway? What do you th why do you think they're not doing that? No, but here's the thing. There's another rumor that they will be including characters from the past Tekken games. Oh, really? Yeah. But yeah, go go more into detail about it. Okay, well, there's these... I guess you could, guess you could say codes. Uh-huh. Because you know how Scott Cawthon... Uh... Leave, like... Leaves uh, those clues throughout, like the uh, You're URLs. About, like uh, the source code and all that. Yeah. Well, same thing with Tekken Seven. Only it's a lot more info. Yeah. There's like these source codes and all these other codes in like in one line. And on the other end of the source codes, it's got like three letters. Like we've seen Komitsu, K uh -huh. and M. I, I'm, I'm assuming. I saw June's name. Oh no shit. G A N, which I believe is Gangru, uh, Ganryu, or Ganru, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Lei. Lei Wu Long, nice. He's yeah. not even in uh, Tekken Seven. But I've seen YouTubers going over these codes. Right. And they're like, oh my god, June's gonna be in it. Lei's gonna be in this if it's correct. That's if it's correct. Yes. Yeah. There's also been rumors of a Tekken Ball being released. God, I hope so. I love Tekken Ball. It was so much fun to play. Why wasn't it on Tekken Tag 2? I don't know. God, the battles are getting a little ridiculous. Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. Just... Who's in there? Hey everybody, Juggle972 here. 
<clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, the reason why I'm in uh, editor mode right now, or if I like to call it narration mode, is uh, in the middle of this uh, part of the playthrough, my uh, capture card, for some reason, in the middle of uh, capturing everything, decided to get choppy. Now, in the past, this has happened before, and it's really, really, really annoying whenever it happens to, because every time I try to get some really good quality playthroughs, this will sort of fuck it up. And as little by little, if you heard earlier, it starts to chop up just a little bit though, but the footage along with the audio starts to fuck it up a little bit too, mainly from the uh, commentary portion. So here's what's, uh, I'm going to give you a little run through of what happens for the rest of the episode. And I do apologize about this um, ahead of time though, because I know this was one of my most favorite episodes that I was looking forward to doing, but quite frankly, I was actually pretty upset when this happened. Anyway, uh, in this part right here, uh, you fight again, we fight off against Ifrit and uh, Shiva. Now you fight them one by one, but at the very end of the battle, they actually end up joining you. You get their Magicite, you get uh, Ifrit and Shiva. And secondly, as you go through what's going to be happening, as you go through the rest of the uh, Magitech Research Facility, you end up fighting, uh, what is it, I believe it's uh, number 24. It's an Android machine. Now this boss is not very difficult. All you really have to do is just hit him really, really hard with uh, physical attacks. One thing I recommend if you have Sabin in your team, uh, just start hitting him with uh, all of your blitzes, all of his non-elemental blitzes, because uh, the the uh, boss actually has a, a wall change, which actually makes him change barriers. And if you played, uh, watch me play Chrono Trigger, just like Magus, he has a barrier change, which changes his weakness. And I want to say about five or six of those weaknesses you don't have just yet. But I try to stick with Fire, Ice, and Thunder if you can actually read it. And you can actually uh, uh, check out his weaknesses just by using Scan. Once you finish him off, uh, you come across uh, Sid who uh, shows you uh, what's happened with all the Magicite. Well, correction, all the Espers. And with all the Espers around, all the uh, you get about six pieces of Magicite. Uh, Bismarck, Mod, uh, Madden, I think that's what you call them. Uh, Shadow, I think it's a, a Shadow, Carbuncle, and a few others I can't remember off the top of my head. But after that, Sid uh, uh, provi uh, provides you an escape along with a save point. Um, and as Kefi is getting ready to approach you, you uh, get thrown into a little cart of sorts. And that little cart, you know, you uh, go you go off and face off against a couple of other uh, mag rotors, and then eventually you fight off against uh, number 124, I believe that's the boss's name. Uh, now this boss is not very hard either. He's got two arms that regenerate after you take them off. But the easiest way to do it though, just take off the arms, and then next thing you know, start attacking the main uh, <clears throat> the main part of the torso. Now what you take on the main part of the torso, um, your physical attacks are going to do the most uh, the most damage, and then once you finish them off, uh, you uh, you're pretty much granted an escape to the uh, vector and uh, at the very end of it though I believe I actually ended up uh, going right to the save point and saving and it was right then whenever I reviewed it that I noticed that the uh, everything was going to be choppy the audio was going to be choppy but for some reason the footage and you know the uh, the audio for the footage the audio for the in-game footage sans the uh, commentary if you will uh, stayed intact so what I ended up doing is just kind of plan this out and just put it all together. I'm once again I'm truly sorry about this, and I'm going to make sure that I can actually. If uh, these episodes are going to be long, because originally this episode was going to be 35 minutes, because I really want to put a lot of content into this. But since my capture card decided to fuck up, which is something I don't believe in, you don't fuck up on my computer. As simple as that. You get fucked up. You fuck up my computer, you go in the trash. But I forgive it though because it's giving me some of the best commentary and the best uh, footage that I've put together. So, but I'm blabbing on at this point. But I will see you all in the next episode. Much love, peace, and for misunderstood, see you later. Oh.